Okay, in this video, we're going to go through the process of composing a function with its inverse and vice versa so that we can check. This is how we verify if something is correct um, when we figure out these inverses. So starting back here, we have these two functions that we were working with in the last video kind of created from words. Um, now we are going to look at the first part a f of f inverse of x equals f of whatever that inverse is which we're looking at this one here cube root gotta get my cube in there x plus 3 over 4 minus 2 um, and then we're going to plug that in to everywhere we see x in the f function so we have 4 times cube root x plus 3 over 4 minus 2 that's all just for our x right and then we have um, plus 2 up here from our function right so this is our That's our um, inverse. We will put that in red here. Okay, and then we're going to add two because that's part of our um, f function up above there. And then subtract the cubit. Don't forget that. And then subtract three. Okay, so maybe I'll just drop down the original function here just so you can see x plus 2 right cubed minus 3 that's what i did um so now i need to simplify that and really here i can just remove the parentheses i do want to show you that in a couple of steps so you won't normally need to rewrite this out every time but just i know that gets a little confusing for people they think they need to distribute something maybe but you don't just remove your parentheses there don't forget the cube so then these will just literally go to zero right because i'm adding the identity and i i mean the um, inverse and i get the identity so now i have this whole piece a cube root that's cubed so that just leaves me with with what's inside right so the cube root and the cube just undo each other so those are inverses so we have four times x plus three over four and then minus my three Now again, we have an inverse. There's lots of inverse things going on when you are um, composing an inverse. Which kind of makes sense, right? And then again, now I'm left with x. So that tells me for sure that was an accurate um, check. So when I ask you on a test, like, oh, can you uh, find out what this is? You know the answer should be x if it's two functions that I gave you. Um, and I'm saying, you know, calculate those out. Uh, it should come out to be x. So if it's not, you have to prove why. You can't just put x and get, I'll say, show all your work. But say you get caught up in something and you just do the best you can with it and say, I know this should be x. I'm not getting x, but I know it should be x. I just, I will give you a point for that, for, for knowing that. Um, and then some partial credit for the other stuff. So we have to do the same thing now with f inverse of x. And I'm going to kind of run out of room here, but f inverse of f of x and see what you can do with that you can probably do that one actually comes out pretty short um i want you to try that for classwork so pause the video and go ahead and get that one done
Okay, so here's my steps for that. I just took the f of x function, plugged it into my um, inverse function, which we can see is right here, actually. So I put that in red, in for x. And so I had x, which is now 4 times x plus 2 cubed minus 3. And then part of the... Um, inverse function is to add 3 then have over 4 in the cube root minus 2. So I just plop that all right in that x just goes there and everything else stayed. That's the blue is the part of the inverse. And then I can really just undo all these pieces and end up with cube root of x plus 2 cubed minus 2 which just gives me plain x plus 2 and then subtract the 2 and I get x. So that takes a little bit of playing with. Some of these can get messy. So I hope you found that helpful and understand the process. Even if you can get tangled in the math a little bit, just practice that. And you know you should get X. So it's a self-check, good self-check skill. So that's it for this part of the video set for inverses. There'll be um, probably one or two more. So this was part two. So have a great day.